What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. So today we are introducing the new car, even though we've had it for a couple of months now, but we've got an up GTI. Now the funny story about this car, I part exchanged my M4 comp for this car. So yeah. So like I said, it's an up GTI. It's an amazing little car, as you can tell by the number plate, it's for my wife. If you haven't caught on to my number plates, I've got three personalized plates. I've got this one, which is wife. Uh, I've got the one on the Clio, which is fast. And I've got the one on the Golf, which is wrap, because that's what I do for a living. So it was, it was just a fun little thing that started. I got way too fast for my Fiesta ST when I bought that nine years ago, I want to say. That's a long time. Um, but yeah, I bought it for why too fast, because why not? And it's kind of just stuck since. So it's just grown uh, and just all the various additions. But enough about that, let's get onto the car. So like I mentioned, I parked changed my M4 for this. So that's a bit of a funny story. Basically, I didn't quite gel with the M4 as much as I thought I would. Like I'd always wanted an RS3. I had actually bought an RS3 and I had a few issues with the paint and it took ages to get that sorted but I finally got a full refund from the company I bought that with but I do actually have a video on that so if you guys want to see that I bought a RS3 last year let me know if you want to see that video because I can always edit it up and put it up just basically the RS3 was a car I've always wanted and I finally was in a position where I could buy it I bought it loads of issues so then it was at a time when there wasn't really that much stock and that's how the M4 came about. I stumbled across it at the dealership, bought it, and yeah. But I didn't quite gel with it, so I've now got the Golf R. So the missus needed a new car, and what better than the Up GTI. So, long time viewers of the channel will know that we used to have an Up. We had a baby blue one, and she loved that car. It was great, but it was just the base spec model. But she just needed a car, so it was actually her first but technically second car and she learned to drive in it she passed a driving test in it and all sorts so she's always had a soft spot for the ups and when the gti came out i've always had my eyes on it but i never quite had a like a spot in it in my like garage as such but when she needed a new car and because i do most of the driving whenever we go away like if we go on holiday or if we go somewhere then golf's perfect for that she only needs a little daily to get to and from work, like shopping, like those kinds of things. So this is quite literally the perfect car. So enough about that, let's have a good look around the car. So being the Up GTI, it's powered by the same one litre three pot engine, except it's got a cute little tiny turbo stuck to it and it makes about 113 brake. But being this channel, that's gonna change, but yeah. It's a great little car, it's nippy, it's small, it's lightweight, so you can actually really like enjoy this car just like driving it around like down back roads, it's great because you can literally like drive it fast and you're not breaking the speed limit, so you can really like enjoy it, it's fantastic, it's really nimble, like I know a lot of people say, um, so basically it comes on 195s uh, all round, people say to upgrade them to a 205 uh, the tires and it handles a lot better so that's probably going to happen at some point probably when it needs changing because like i said she doesn't really use it all that much but i love a little project so this car it caught our eye because it's got loads of extras annoyingly the one thing it doesn't have is the beats sound system but thanks to dan i can sort that out quite easily um, but if we have a look at the interior it comes like with a good amount of stuff so as per like gti we've got the tartan seats and in the back as well so i, I love that the dash comes with this like funky pattern i want to say like i don't know if it's meant to be like carbon style or some like musical type thing but i'm a big fan like i, I know a lot of people don't like it but i'm a big fan wonky steering wheel is probably going to do a lot of people's heads in but deal with it <laughs> had to park it for the for the wheel angle but if we take a step inside so like the infotainment area is quite small but basically here it's all connected via your phone so you can put your phone here and you can control lo loads of stuff on the car uh, you see like all the various gauges like boost gauge fuel 
RPM, like all of that good stuff. Um, tiniest little screen here, it's actually got a rear view camera somewhere around here, yep, down, right down there in the bottom and it pings up on that little screen so it is like the smallest rear view camera and it's great because I mean I know it's a small car it's really easy to park anyway but any helping hands are always welcome but my favorite thing we've got a sunroof now I don't know why having a sunroof made me so excited but we didn't even realize it but apparently they're not all that common on the ups so whoever specced the the car from new he did a great job except for not picking the sound system up great like why would you get like all the other optional extras like the camera parking sensors sunroof but not get the sound system but like i said we can sort that out quite easily but yeah enough talking about the outside i think we should hop inside and uh, check it out
it's, it's minor details. Like, at the moment, I've not got music on, so that's why I can hear it. But normally, if you're just driving around, just turn the music up. Uh, crow trying to attack us. But yeah, you just turn the music up and goodbye road noise. It's as simple as that. I think we've timed that well as it's just starting to drizzle again. So, yeah, there we have it. The latest car to the channel. So, I hope you guys like this car as much as I do and I can't wait to get started on this as a project. So, I've already technically got the first mods ready to go and it's going to be a headlight upgrade just because the standard headlights, they're just the halogen ones, they are shocking. So, my mate Adam up at CUK has uh, hooked me up some, with some LED bulbs for the whole front end. So, that'll be the first mod video as such. Um, but as always, I'm going to cover everything with this car just because if other people want to do something similar, then it's always nice to have uh, some reference. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys what you want to see as like the first proper mods. So we've got a whole list of stuff that we want to do to this, but we just don't know where to start. So what do you guys think? Do you want to see induction kit uh, with the intake pipes and recirc valve or blower valve? I can't remember which one it is. It's forged kit. Um, that's like intake area. We want to lower it down a bit, so springs or coilovers. Um, still undecided, maybe springs, because again, it's just sort of like a daily car, so it doesn't need like the full adjustability of like the coilovers, and obviously springs would be a cheaper option, and it just gives it that better look. And when we lower it, I want to get some spaces to bring the standard wheels out, because I quite like the design of the, uh, the standard wheels. I think they're pretty good, um, but they just need to come out a little bit more. We're looking at potentially like uh, the Maxon Design splitter, side skirt, that kind of stuff as well. And obviously the exhaust. It, this one's far too quiet, we need to fix that. So that's on the list as well. I'm sure I'm missing uh, a lot more other things that we want to do, but that's sort of like the initial basics of it. Um, you guys let me know down in the comments where you want us to start. So exhaust, intake, lowering, or body kit add-ons. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments and like the most commented mod, we'll get that on order and we'll get cracking on with it because this is gonna be so much fun. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to subscribe to our channel and drop the video a like because it helps us out massively. But yeah, this is gonna be such a fun car. So like I said, we've got like the mods, the mods, the headlights to do on this, which may potentially be the next video, but we also have a track day in two weeks with Bar and Bill. So the Clio needs to go through its prep. It needs a proper clean because I've kind of neglected it since it's track day back in December. And uh, yeah, cause we're in mid March now. So it's been like three and a half months where it's just been sat there festering in its own track day filth. So I'll do a full clean on that track day prep. And then obviously we're hitting up Brands Hatch again. We love Brands Hatch. It's such a fun circuit, especially for the Clio. And now that I've uh, seen Bill drive around it, I've got a better idea of how I want to drive it and what the Clio is actually capable of. So the next time we're going around Brands, I'm hoping to do a lot better, like just overall driving wise. And we might even look into getting um, tuition as well because that always helps massively as well. So just as the confidence grows driving the cars, um, yeah, it's great. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.